It's your girl Zamora, and today we are going to be talking blue. Welcome to Zamora's Live Diary. Okay, so for those of you who may not know what this is, okay, well, I found out about it on social media on IG. I'm going to link the clip that I seen. Um, That made me want to know and dig deeper into this show. So, I think it's a show based in London. So, I saw the full episode on YouTube. Child, I was not ready, okay? So, it's two couples. We have Paul and Choma. And we're going to discuss them first, and then we're going to briefly go over Jamil and Deborah and my thoughts and my honest opinion on both couples and the whole nine. Y'all ready? Let's go. My mom didn't be putting me in dishes. My ancestors never calculated. My mom didn't calculate. Nor did my grandma. Nobody that taught me how to make my traditional... If I was paid, Preach. it would be an easier yeah, solution. Yeah, I hear you too. Period. There's no period and there's no preach. So Girl. stop doing that. That's patronizing. Okay? He's exaggerating. He, he, he's telling you, like, I want him to eat popcorn. Yeah, I'm laying around with my legs sure, open, ready to do a madness. Up. It's not like that. When last did you fuck me? Do you really want to go there? Please, no, answer the question. Do you remember? Because I don't. Uh, I'll tell you. How can I be in the same house touching myself with a mm. boyfriend in the same house with me? Mm. Okay, no, Absolutely please, please. Not. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. Right. Okay. Let, let's just hear what Paul's got to say. Nothing. Talking in okay. circles the entire time. Babe, I love you. So why don't you touch me? When I when I come home from work. You plan to have sex? Paul was, I don't know what happened. He agreed anyway. It's even, a, I'm so embarrassed saying this. Like, we organized the day where we were going to have sex. I went out, I bought lingerie. I, I bought rose petals, wine. I put, I, you know, dimmed the lights, everything. Paul came in. Do you know what he did? He ate and he went to bed. I have to get him on mm -hmm. weekends. I see my girlfriend, right? When I just see her, I'm happy. That that's love to me. That's enough. That's not for me. the question. But at the same time, why do you feel like you need me inside of you two four seven before you can feel love? I don't feel like I need you inside me two four seven, but I'm not wood. Okay, okay, I'm a woman, okay, and I find you attractive, and I would like to have sex with you once yeah. in a while, mm -hmm. even if it's once a week, babe, because we don't she do that. Get I understand out, that I might have a high sex drive, but Paul has a very low sex drive, and we can meet in the middle somehow. Do you know mm. what I mean? I don't mind having sex. Okay, so I'm going to insert some clips and things like that, so you're going to know what I'm talking about at this point. First of all, Paul... Very cocky, very arrogant, very snide. He's just, uh, excuse my French, but he crossed me as a bitch ass nigga, period. I need for Choma to know her worth and I need for her to move on. But um, yeah, I just felt like you doing all this, that, and the third about her not cooking or her not cooking health appropriate meals for you it's just too much like are we first of all are we married and second off even if we do get to that point you just can't do certain things and the way he talks at her like she's just below him or ugh, like mm -mm, i don't know if it's some type of defense mechanism because he lost all this weight and now he's he think he's some macho man or above and beyond but newsflash baby you not you need to calm down you giving me bitch like vibes i just i just couldn't it was very cringy to watch him talk at her that way and not only was he talking at her crazy he was being very rude and disrespectful to the therapist like wait up wait a minute now what's going on i ain't did nothing to you this is very this i feel like he was taking it very personal against both parties with choma and the therapist like and the therapist was very biased like she wasn't on neither side and that's what the therapist is you know she's weighing both options and giving y'all both the truth so i don't know what his issue was but i hope choma 
decides to leave him because it's a mess. Period. What else? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, okay. And now the sex situation. Now with that, it's something else going on. I don't care what he's trying to flex and say and then he never really answered it he was talking in circles the entire time like if y'all heard him answer what's his situation and what's his deal with not putting out drop it drop it below because i never heard him answer it now i can say in his defense and y'all i'm not offending him so just being honest and biased and telling the truth i can say if he has been depressed that could have something to do with it but this been going on for how long I'm not sure if she stated it because I was in and out of episodes, but if this has been going on for a decent amount of time, and not saying you can be depressed for, you know, lengthy amount of time, but you need to discuss that with your partner. Like she said, he was mentioning things there that he had never mentioned to her before. So how would she know? You know, you can't read somebody's mind. Open your mouth. Open communication and healthy communication is key. So, but... Yeah, y'all. Choma, I really don't have much to say about her, but she's beautiful. She needs to know her worth, and she needs to get out ASAP. Three years, too long. Like, I'm not saying he was treating her like that the whole three years, but mm -mm, he got to go to the left, to the left. So, what are your thoughts on Paul and Choma? Drop them down below, y'all, because they was who I wasn't ready. Now, Back into Jamil and Deborah. At a certain point in a relationship, if she doesn't trust me, why Why is that keep, are we in this relationship, honestly? Have you ever given exactly. her a reason not to Get trust Get out, you? girl. Never. Please. Really? Uh, before, I don't think there's actually a particular time. You're shady. Do you understand? No, that's it. Yeah. Surprise me. Mm. Surprise me. Now being childish because you were going because you had ulterior motive and you didn't want to tell me. Exactly. Listen, I'm you. I'm surprised you having a good time. Yeah. Listen, what you did was you mentioned the fact that in 2019, yeah. crazy stuff was happening. They are funny, but it's a hot mess. First of all, he's going to mention he fancied her sister. He was attracted to her sister. Like, sir. You should have kept that to yourself. Certain things, it's like, how do you bounce back from it? Like, that little comment was just unnecessary. Um, the fact that he has blocked her on social media, I feel like he's definitely hiding something. Like, you being very sneaky. Why are you blocking me on social media? For what reason? If I'm your partner, don't play with me. And he is definitely playing with Deborah on all accounts. Period. Now, not meeting the family difference in Jamel's defense, I feel like if he didn't initiate it, then that's on you. Like, if you decided, like, okay, I want to introduce my family to my man, you can't play tick for tag and be and assume, oh, your man gonna be like, oh, she introduced me to the family, it's time for me to introduce her to my family. That's not how that go. So that's all I have to say about that because I feel like that's the tricky type of thing when you introducing your significant other to your family. And I do understand where he coming from because he's like, this is forced relationship and he want to make sure it's solid, basically. Making sure that's the last person that'll be introduced to his family. Um, I'm assuming that's what he meant by that. But he has some grown up to do. Like, baby, you, you, and I'm sure. Mm-mm. But yeah, they a hot mess. Okay, now my honest opinion on both of the couples, they both are toxic and they need to move forward, like let it go. Some things aren't worth salvaging and I can't really speak on somebody's relationship and where they are and how in love they are and how this person treats you off camera. You know, this your everyday life. That's y'all that's their real life. So I don't know. But <laughs> I am definitely into this show and they have a new viewer because I will be tuning the fuck in, okay? I think this is episode four they're on and that's what caught a lot of people's attention. So I will be tuned in for five, six, and so forth and so on. But um, yes, ladies, Deborah, 
and Chioma. Choma. Chioma. I want to call her Chioma, but I think they said they were saying her name like Choma. But anyways, get out and move on expeditiously. Know your worth. Love yourself first. Period. With that being said, that is the end of this video. I hope you all liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts. And have you tuned in to this episode? Did you see this clip on Instagram? Let me know, y'all. Until next time, it's be checking out.